Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you this Thursday afternoon from the balcony overlooking the floor of the New York Stock Exchange during an abbreviated trading week. And if you can't tell, I'm full of energy because I realized we're just one more full session away from another weekend. So let's get this started. It's nearly four o'clock. The market's there about to close right behind me. You know what time it is. It's happy hour in the Big Apple. Well, it's been a seesaw trading week as stocks are currently in the red as a slide in technology dragged down the broader markets. Now, shares of Facebook, Tesla, Apple, Netflix, Google Parent Alphabet all over this afternoon. Tech is this year's best performing sector, but it has hit a snag lately, falling 4% over the past month. Meanwhile, investors in the U.S. also focused on a series of economic reports. First, a report from ADP and Moody's Analytics showed the U.S. economy added 158,000 jobs last month, but that's less than the expected 185,000. The report usually serving up as serving as a warm-up for the Labor Statistics Monthly Employment Report, which is set for release tomorrow. Meanwhile, weekly jobless claims coming in at 248,000, slightly higher than expected. And other data released today includes the IHS Market Services PMI read, which showed the strongest expansion in business activity since January. And we also had the ISM Non-Manufacturing Index rising to 57.4 from 56.9 in May. And with all of this combined, let's now take a look to see how much the Dow Jones has slipped this session approaching the closing bell. And with that stated kickback, relax. Remember, tomorrow's a Friday. The weekend is almost here. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. And for Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.